Say old soldiers never die, they just fade away. Today the promise to millions of former servicemen and war heroes for one rank, one pension is now caught in a political tangle. War veterans have decided to take their battle to the streets to fight for Europe. A 1971 war hero today even boycotted a government ceremony to bring home the message. Jugal Purohit with tonight's special report. They have selflessly put the nation before the self. Their gallantry in the service of the country has made India proud. And now, out of hostile battlefields, the country's politicians have let down the war veterans of India. War heroes taking to the streets, returning their medals and boycotting government ceremonies for a three decade long demand of one rank, one pension. This 1971 war hero has chosen to not accept the honor the defense minister wanted to bestow upon him. I got was that there is no action, talk only. The issue of one rank, one pension appears to have been put on the back burner more than a year after the BJP put it at the top of its campaign agenda. <laughs> कि वन रैंक वन पेंशन के संबंध में क्या स्थिति है उसका व्हाइट पेपर घोषित करें मोदीज वॉर क्राई एट हिज रेवारी रैली सीम्स रिड्यूस्ड टू अ पोल स्लोगन व्हाट रिमेंस नाउ इज एम्बिवेलेंस आई कैन अश्योर यू दैट वी हैव डन आवर एक्सरसाइज प्रॉपर्ली सो लेट अस होप दैट इट विल बी डन एट एट द अर्ली एज एंगर माउंट्स अमंग दोस हु हैव सर्व द कंट्री अ वॉइस अमंग्स दोस स्टिल सर्विंग urged patients. The Ministry of Defence and uh, is uh, very seized of this problem and to the best of my knowledge a lot of progress has been made uh, with regard to the progress on the one rank one pension and uh, rest is up to the government uh, to take the final decision on it. The three decade long wait of war veterans became the fodder for a political face off. This is a relation issue of relationship between the country and its veterans. A commitment has been made by the country and its government to the veterans and the commitment must be met. One year down the line, the defense minister is unwilling to make a commitment with regards to a timeline for its implementation. Whether or not the veterans take their fight to the next level remains to be seen. However, if and when they actually do that, the embarrassment will not just be for the government but for the nation as a whole. With camera person Zaheer Bag in New Delhi, Jugal Purohit reporting for India Today. Okay, Jugal Purohit there reporting on that story. Let me go to our newsmaker tonight, Wing Commander Karnik, the man who decided not to attend the Defence Minister's function today in Pune as a mark of protest. Appreciate your joining us, Wing Commander. My basic question to you, have you overreacted given the fact that the Minister has said, please be a little patient, one rank, one pension will happen? Well, I won't uh, be able to say whether it's a reaction or an overreaction. As far as I am concerned, because I am speaking personally for myself, that it is a reaction. You know, but was your decision, sir, Wing Commander, prompted by a sense of personal hurt? Or do you see your protest as symbolic of a deeper grievance that the services have, that our politicians make promises at election time and then are not able to implement them? Yes, because uh, it does become, we have been shortchanged everywhere. Everywhere promises have been made and promises broken. Uh, lip service only, that is why I use the word that the policy appears to be hmm. one of NATO. NATO means no action, talk only. So you just talk and talk and talk to assuage the ex servicemen the exercisement, in fact, is a uh, pertail, uh, it trickles down to the servicemen also. You know, that's interesting. NATO is what you're calling it, no action talk only. But let's be clear, sir, that, you know, implementing ORO, uh, one rank, one pension won't be easy. There's a financial implication that is involved that needs time, in a sense, to resolve. There's a seventh pay commission. Will it be linked to that is one possibility. 
The defense minister, as I said, sir, has told us Orop will happen. As I said, he is calling for a little patience from you. Are you ready to give Mr. Parikar any time to implement Orop? No, my dear, this has been going on since ages, really. Mr. Parikar is a good man. He has taken interest. He has definitely pushed the things. But again, there, now the feeling I get... I am not uh, talking on behalf of anybody else as an intelligent person and analyzing person. The feeling I get that it appears to me, appears to me that this is beyond him because he has agreed. Mm. But the finance ministry and the other uh, players, mm. whosoever they be, they are trying to pull down and delay and delay and delay the issue of notification. Why? As I said, sir, the, the why that is being given is the financial implications. But do you get a sense that the, the problem you face is that you are not a vote bank in the true sense of the word. And therefore, the armed forces concerns remain a low priority for any government, be it a UPA government or an NDA government. Yes, I would uh, uh, seem so, particularly previously. After the 71 war, then of course there was a little upsurge in the Kargil war mm. and even now. But then um, fortunately we are having a good man called Mr. Manohar Parikar who is uh, able to analyze things and move forward. But I do not know whether it is the system that uh, is obstructionist or anybody else uh, uh, intentionally is obstructionist. Uh, the thing is that. Second thing is that in preparing all these, uh, we got suspicious, mm -hmm. I got suspicious that why is not a single uniformed man mm -hmm. a part of the preparation of the tables. Even the tables prepared by uh, the army headquarters as per uh, the print news, print media news. Uh, um, I do not know whether they have taken care of it or not, but one thing I do know. Mm. that it was more or less as far as the uh, uh, electronic media as well as the print media that uh, gives information to us uh, indicate mm. that there is some hanky-panky. Some hanky-panky is what you are saying. What would you then like to tell the Prime Minister? Narendra Modi during that 2014 election campaign had promised Orov, had said there needs to be a white paper on one rank, one pay, uh, pension. What would you like to tell the Prime Minister now? Yes, sir. The Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, I would like you to intervene. I am not asking you to interfere mm. in the working of the ministry. If that be so, it is your take and your decision to interfere. Mm. But I would certainly li like you to intervene as to why things are not moving. Okay, so you are asking the Prime Minister to intervene and find out why are things not moving when it comes to one rank, one pension. Wing Commander, appreciate your joining us. You've turned down that invite today to meet the Defence Minister and sent out a powerful message. Thanks very much for joining us.